Hello guys, uh, welcome to this video. I'll be looking at task 16a. The question says, open the file employees.csv. This shows the job types, the number of employees with that job type, and the percentage of employees with that job type. Create an appropriate um, graph or chart to show the number of employees with that job type, right? Okay, so let's open employees.csv from our chapter 16 folder. So I want to open this. I want to save it as task 16a. So I want to go ahead to save it in my 16 tax file and change the format to Excel. Call it task 16a. I'll, I'll save that, okay? good i want to be sure that all my data is showing so we have uh, so the question says that we should plot uh, we should create an appropriate graph or chart to show the number of uh, employees with that job type okay so the job type here uh director and then we have a uh, number of uh, staff three so we want to see on a chart the analyst engineer uh, the number of staff that we have for for each of the job types, right? So what I'm going to do here is to select everything here. If you can choose to select just the data here, but for this the sake of this, let me just select this and see how it's going to look like. So when you select your range here, you want to go to Insert and then get to from the Charts group. You want to click on the bar chart because we feel that bar chart is the, is the best uh, chart for this um, uh, type of data, right? So you just click on it and then it's going to give you something like this. And then that's how you create a column chart in Excel. And it's also called bar chart. Okay. So um, this will show you the, the director and then it will give you on a chart, um, it will give you the uh, the job type and then the the number of staff, okay, that has that position, right? So I think so that does it for us. So in the subsequent um, tasks, we will see how we're going to edit charts and all that. Okay, thank you so much for this video. I will see you in the next one.